decree and I declare God is on your side you shall not die but you shall live for we don't serve a dead God we serve a living God he's the same yesterday he's the same today he's the same forevermore when God says yes no one can say no There is a voice in every true servant of God and that voice is the voice from God. Losing destinies, setting the captives free. This is the voice of restoration by Apostle James Kidia. Mtazamaji ni naamini ya kwamba umzima na Bwana amekuhifadhi. Majina yangu ninaitwa Apostle James na hii ni sauti ya urejesho. Program ambayo itakuwa ikikufikia wewe kila siku ya leo na saa kama hii. Na namshukuru Bwana kwa fursa hii ya kukufikia wewe kupitia injili. Bwana amekuwa mwaminifu. Nina hudumu na kanisa la ATG na wale ambao mko maeneo ya Nairobi unaweza ukahudhuria mikutano yangu ambayo ninafanya kila siku ya Jumapili na ukawa mgeni wangu na ukabarikiwa. Jumapili tuna ibada tatu maalum. Tuna ibada ya kwanza inaanza saa moja asubuhi mpaka saa ine unusu. Na ibada ya pili inaanza saa ine unusu mpaka saa saba unusu. Ibada ya tatu ni ya ukombozi na unabii na inaanza saa saba unusu mpaka saa tisa kuendelea. ATG kitengela inapatikana opposite Kenya Power behind Kingston House. Nyuma ya Kingston House utaona mjengo wa ATG tumejenga na mabati ya blue mjengo mzuri na utaweza kubarikiwa kuonana na mimi moja kwa moja ama ana kwa ana unaweza ukanitembelea every wednesday na friday nimetega siku hizi mbili kuonana na watu kwa one on one na hii huwa inaanza saa moja asubuhi mpaka saa tisa every wednesday na Friday. I love the difference in the siku hizo hizo. Wednesday and Friday. Lakini ni afternoon. Saa tisa mpaka saa moja. Hizi ni ibada za kudil na malana. Kufukuza mashetani na majini. Kuvunja uchawi. Kuleta ukombozi kwa maisha ya mwanadamu. Na utaweza kuona baraka za buwana juu ya maisha yako. Unaweza ukawasiliana nasi kwa kupiga na bari ambazo unaziona chini ya runinga yako. Unaweza kapata ujumbe mzima ambao nimeubiri na njumbe zingine nyingi zana sa kubariki maisha yako. Na pia unaweza kapata kitabu ambacho nimeandika Flying on Prophetic Wings, kitabu ambacho kina neema kubwa sana na kitasaidia maisha yako. Endelea kubarikiwa kwa programu hii ya sauti ya urejesho. Badae nitaomba pamoja nawe na mungu atakubariki. Amen. Wakati mtumishi wa Bwana anazungumza na wewe akiwa chini ya neema ya Bwana akiwa under the influence of the spirit of God all the words that he will speak to you are as equal as the word of God the written word of God The Bible says that all scriptures are inspired by God and inspiration means all scriptures are affected by the breath of God. And how do we have the scriptures? God breathed his breath into the lives of men and the women. And whatever they said and was put in record is what we call the scriptures until now. Wakati roa bwana alishukia watu waume kwa wake na wakanena wakiwa chini ya neema ya mafuta ya roho mtakatifu wakiwa affected na pumzi ya roho wa mungu whatever they said and was put down ilipo andikwa na tukaipata imewekwa pamoja Dio tunaita Biblia, tunaita neno la Mungu. Na tukiendelea kuandika Bible, 
vitabu vitakuwa vingi duniani kuliko watu sema amen na what happens ni kwamba wakati watumishi wa Mungu wanena not religiously but prophetically under the influence of the spirit of god they speak to our lives na neno linalotoka kwa kinywa cha mtumishi wa Mungu ama kinywa cha mtu yeyote aliye na neema bwana neno hilo lina uwezo sawa na lile neno limeandikwa katika biblia kama ameongea akiwa chini ya upako sio akiwa ameshiba ugali sio akiwa na siasa kwa akili yake sio akiwa na basement ya aina yoyote lakini akiwa chini ya influence of the spirit of god iwe kwamba maneno hayo amezungumza sio yeye amenena lakini ni roho bwana amemtumia kama chombo usiwai dharau maneno ya haina hiyo yanaweza yakaua na yanaweza yakaumba yanaweza yakabomoa na yanaweza yakajenga na ndio maana kuna neno katika kinywa changu na ni lazima nikutamkie neno hili ukisema amen nitaendelea this is the best crossing over to the next month wakati uko katika maombi kwa sababu kuomba ni kunena na Mungu you can still tell God something concerning your life and concerning this month and concerning the year especially tunapoanza kwa sababu mwanzo wa kitu ni wakati wa kuweka foundation kwa sababu vile utaweka msingi itatengemea vile utajenga na vile utaendelea tell your neighbor be wise at such a time like now Mwezi wa pili ni mwezi wa baraka. Number two biblically means division and it also means double witness. It's a dangerous number. Division or double witness ushahidi maradufu na kuna neema inaambatana na hii namba because number two inamaanisha division or double witness na sitaongea sana about division but i would dwell much on double witness ushahidi mara gapi mara dufu Genesis 41:32 And for that dream was doubled unto Pharaoh twice It is because the thing is established by God and God will shortly bring it to pass Mwanzo 41 mstari wa 32 Na ndoto ya farao kwa vile ilivyokuja mara mbili ni kwa sababu neno hilo Mungu amelithibitisha na Mungu atalitimiza upesi. When Pharaoh saw a dream twice, and nobody could interpret the dream. All the magicians, all the witches, all the diviners, warogi, wapiga ramli, wanajibu, all the necromancers watu wote wapandishao pepo warogao kwa kupinga bao na mafundo na wanaosoma viganja waliposhindwa kutoa tafsiri ya ndoto ya farao ndipo aliyekuwa amemsahau Yusufu akamkumbuka something will happen and i see it so close Nasema kitu kitafanyika na kimekaribia. Hili walio kusahau wakukumbuke. The king was in trouble. 
seeing a dream twice na inajirudia akaona ngombe wa nono saba wakawakula wa, wengine wa nono wa konde saba wa konde wakawakula wa nono akaona vipande vya gano saba vilivyonona na vingine vilivyokonda the dream was the same lakini ikajirudia na wale aliyotengemea wakashindwa you don't know this wakati Mungu anataka kukuinua atalete problem ataruhusu challenge wale wanaonanga wanajua watakumbuka hawajuangi chochote wataamini ya kwamba they know nothing maana Yusuf aliambia jamaa vizuri nimekutafsiria ndoto ukifika state house mention my name before the king jamaa akarejeshewa kazi yani unatabiria mtu na unamwambia when god prospers you mention my name remember my situation i am where i am not because i deserve to be here ni kuonewa nilionewa kwa hivyo ukifika mahali ambapo ninaweza nikapata kuondolewa hapa remember my name na jamaa anaenda na anakusahau when you get into palace remember me mtu anakuambia yes i will yes i will siwezi nitaweza kusahau namna gani mtu aweze sahau mtu kama wewe eh umenisaidia yako bwana akifika akikula keki za kule na juice za kule anakusahau eti kwa sababu wewe ni mwebrania na yeye ni muyahudi na yeye sorry yeye ni, ni mumisri anakukausha Mungu wa agano ana cause problem na ile problem inafanya watu wa agano wanatokea kwenye stage haujawahi jua ya kwamba nyota huwa zinaonekana usiku mchana nyota hazionekani lakini usiku nyota zinaonekana na wakati ngiza imeanza kuingia nyota zinasema tumekuwa area wakati mlikuwa na jua mlitudharau sasa jua limeondoka mnatuhitaji kuna watu walikusahau maana walikuwa na njua ninaona ngiza ikitokea na watakuhitaji kwa lazima Sema na hiyo hiyo na hiyo hiyo na hiyo hiyo na hiyo hiyo. Ah. Iki tu ninaisikia kwa mifupa kila mahali. Wanakudharau mchana usiku atakuhitaji. Biblia ndio inasema ngiza totoro litafunika uso wa dunia, lakini wewe inuka na uangaze maana utukufu wa Bwana uko juu yako. Wengine wakifunikwa na ngiza ni wakati wako uamulikie. Wengine wakisota ni wakati wako kuasot. Kuna watu lazima wakose ili wewe upate. Wafutwe ili wewe uinuke. Wanyimwe ili wewe upewe. Wakaushwe ili wewe uinuliwe. Lazima Goliatho akufe ndio Daudi awe mpindi ya mfalme. Lazima Sauli akosee ili Daudi aongezewe mafuta. Lazima wakanaani wafukuzwe ili wana wa Israeli wamiliki hiyo inji. Kuna kitu kimekaliwa na mtu asiyefaa. Ninatangaza wale wamekalia eneo la kwako waanze kukosea. Mahali unastahili kuwa umekaa. Ninatuma shida kwa anaye kalia. Hicho kitu nakiwa na miimba na mishumari. Kiwake moto mpaka akitoroke because it is your time. Ninasikia kuachilia maombi ya acid na moto na mishumari na miiba na kuchoma anayekalia maeneo yako ya kuinuliwa. Sema na iwe hivyo. Kaa chini nikupangie tena. Wakati walishindwa wakakumbuka Yusuf. Washindwe wakukumbuke. Sauli alichukia Daudi sana. Lakini pepo mbaya kutoka kwa Mungu, maana yake ni kwamba Mungu akaruhusu pepo likamsumbua Sauli na akaambiwa tafuta mtu anayepiga kinumbi kwa ustadi. 
Nafuta mtu aliye na ustadi wa kucheza kinubi sio aliye na pesa maana Daudi hakuwa na pesa Mungu anajua kuwa fix anaweka demand ya kile unaweza ukaprovide ah ujaelewa hiyo point akaambiwa hii problem inataka jamaa aliye na ustadi wa kucheza kinubi sio gitaa kinubi unanielewa mahali hapa sio fundi wa mijengo mcheza kinubi sio politician ah mcheza kinubi akucheze na mtu ambaye roho wa miungu anatulia juu yake wakatafuta Israeli zima wakakosa akaambiwa ni Daudi peke yake unayechukia ndiye anaweza huyo mwenye hautaki kuona na macho ndiye ako na dawa ya kukutibu huyo mwenye hajasoma ndiye amepewa sindano ya kutibu wewe wakaleta Daudi Daudi anafunga macho anafinya kinubi mapepo inaondoka aya ya ya kisirani kichemuka Sauli anataka kuua Daudi mapepo inapanda tena anaambia wachana na Daudi aje kucheze tena Daudi kana kuja kana cheza maroi inaondoka kuna mtu anakudharau kwa sababu wewe ni single mother kwa sababu hauna ndoa kwa sababu hauna mzee kwa sababu hauna pesa listen and listen very well kuna kitu unacho nasema kuna kitu unacho ambacho hawana uko na neema ya kuomba you can talk to god the almighty god the creator of the universe the alpha and omega the one who made them unaweza ukamwongelesha ukamwambia daddy i come before you you know my name you know the number of my hair you are my alpha and omega before you i fall and before you i rise hear my case now Pengine ujue mlango ya mbunge iko wapi lakini unajua mlango ya madhabahu Patia mtu high point mwambie there is something you have they don't have I prophesy utapokea kitu ambacho unacho na wao hawana Can I say it again? Can I say it again? Bwana na atumane kwako. Pokea neema ambayo hawana. Pokea uwezo ambao hawana. Pokea nguvu ambayo hawana. Pokea double power, double grace. Kama Januari ilikuwa na taabu, pokea mafuta zaidi, pokea uwezo zaidi na mali ulikuwa umelemewa tembelea hapo na double power double anointing double grace double ability yusuf alipotokea alimwambia farao the reason why umeota mara dufu sababu ni moja jambo hili limedhibitishwa limepitishwa na litatokea upesi ninasikia kuendelea limedhibitishwa limepitishwa na litatokea upesi limedhibitishwa limepitishwa na litatokea upesi hiyo kazi unatafuta imedhibitishwa na imepitishwa na utaiona upesi hiyo ndoa unaombea imedhibitishwa na imepitishwa na utaiona upesi hiyo ndoa unaombea hiyo CD unataka kutoa huyo jamaa unaombea huyo dada unaombea hiyo nyumba unataka kujenga imedhibitishwa nimeona wakiweka sahihi na imewekwa muhuri imepitishwa na itatokea upesi inasema itatokea upesi macho yako yataiona umeombea nini ni nini umeweka hapa what is your prayer request 
I command the anointing to tell you the thing has been established and very soon shortly you're gonna see it ambia jirani imedhimbitishwa imepitishwa na utaiona upesi And I continue. The Bible says, God has spoken once. Twice have I heard. God has spoken once. Twice have I heard this. That power belongs unto him. Mungu amenena mara moja. Mimi nimesikia mara dufu. Uliza jirani umesikia mara gapi? Power belongs unto him even mercy apeanae nguvu ni jehova na kupea jioni ya leo apeanae uwezo ni jehova na kupea jioni ya leo aoneae rehema ni jehova na kuonee rehema jioni ya leo jambo hili ulilo liota mara mbili sijui ni wagapi umeotea kitu mara mbili Sijui ni nani umeota ukidrive mara kadhaa. Wengine hapa mumeota more than twice. I came to confirm it to you. The reason why you are seeing it more than once is very simple. The thing has been established and soon. I said soon. I say soon. Soon can be tomorrow and soon can be now. Exodus 22 verse 4. If the thief be certainly found in his hand alive, whether it be ox or ass or sheep, he shall restore double kutoka mlango wa 22 mstari wa 4 kama hicho kitu kilichoibiwa chapatikana hai mkononi mwake kama ni ngombe au punda au kondoo atalipa dhabani yake mara mbili walipe wasilipe kama kitu hicho alichoiba kitapatikana kikiwa kigali hai hear me and hear me well farewell whatever they stole from you is still alive your problem is english chenye walikuibia akija kufa kiko hai na kikipatikana kingali hai at kama ni ngombe au punda atalipa dhamani yake maradufu kipawa chako mara ngapi in the book of first timothy chapter 5 verse 17 let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor especially they who labor in the word and the doctrine kitabu cha timotheo wa kwanza mlango wa 5 17 wazee watawalao vema wazee watawalao vema na wahesabiwe kustahili heshima maradufu wahesabiwe heshima maradufu hasa wao wajitaabishao kwa kuutubu na kufundisha wazee sio watu walio na nywele nyeupe wazee sio wale wako na upara na wako na macho inakaa kumwagikiwa na maziwa na wako na mashafu inakaa maandazi 
na wawezi wakavuka barabara maana waoni mbali wazee sio watu ambao wako miaka 90 according to the word of god wazee ni wale watu wamekomaa katika neno la bwana wanaweza wakawa mambindi wanaweza wakawa wanaume wanaweza wakawa wamama lakini ni watu wamekula neno wakakomaa watu walio na msimamo watu walio na mwelekeo watu wanaojua kwenye wanaenda watu wanaojua kuinuka kwao na kuanguka kwao watu wanaojua ni nani aliye kwa watu ambao wachanganywi na kila uzumi wa, wa injili njipya inayotokea watu ambao wanajua mchungaji wao ni nani na ni nani sio mchungaji wao watu ambao wanaelewa imani yao iko namna gani na imani yao are you hearing what i'm saying ala paulo anasema wazee wanaojitaabisha waone neno limesonga mbele waone kumehubiriwa waone injili imeiva waone kanisa imesimama walio tawala vyema walio fanya kazi kwa bidii walioonyesha bidii walioonyesha kujitaabisha walioonyesha kufanya kazi yao kujinyima kwa ajili ya kazi kufunga kwa ajili ya kazi kutoa kwa ajili ya kazi kuacha kazi zao kwa ajili ya, ya Mungu wazee walio tawala vyema wazee sio wakongwe peke yao watu waliookoka na wanajitaabisha kuona kazi inaendelea kuona injili inasonga kuona kanisa imesimama wanaojinyima kwa ajili ya kazi ya Bwana na wapokee heshima maradufu kama ni wewe sema ye kuna watu nitaongelesha sasa umekuwa ukijitaabisha na ni madharau lilipwa umewahi toa na hakuna mtu aliona umewahi jinyima na hakuna mtu alijua mwezi wa februari if i be a prophet i decree over your life double honor double honor double honor double Hona Inua mikono sema double heshima Sit down Wazee wajitaabishao kwa ajili ya neno Double witness ninasema sio katoto peke yake kata report baraka zako watu watadabo wanaojua umeinuliwa Somebody say double Finally for today Elijah akamwambia Elisha umekuwa kijana mwaminifu umekuwa mzee wa kupenda neno na wakati umefika ninaondoka I like the way you loved me I like the way you were loyal to me. I like the way you supported my ministry. I like the way you were devoted. What can I do for you? Elisha akajibu, my prophet, I don't want money. I don't want cows. I don't want cars. I don't want nothing. I want double anointing. Tazamaji ninaamini ya kwamba umebarikiwa sana na program hii ya sauti ya urejesho na ningetaka niombe pamoja nawe mahala ulipo na Mungu atakutendea muda hapa kwa runinga huwa ni mfupi lakini ningetaka tuombe pamoja alafu Mungu atakutendea funga macho baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo na muombea mtazamaji amekuwa akifuata program hii natamka neema yako juu ya maisha yake upako ulio juu ya maisha yangu na ukamfikie popote alipo apone aliye mgonjwa apokee miujiza aliye na uhitaji wowote nyororo za shetani zivunjike mashetani idhoofike na imwachilie mtazamaji wangu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo yeyote anayesikia sauti hii akutane na neema ya Mungu kwa jina la Yesu ndio maana ninaomba amen and amen naamini kwamba Mungu amekunguza na hivyo nimekuambia muda hapa kwenye runinga hauwezi ukatosha ndio maana tunakupatia nambari za simu utupigie tuelezee jinsi unavyobarikiwa na program elezea mahitaji ulio nayo ungetaka tushiriki pamoja tu better than one nipigie au niandikie ujumbe mfupi na nitakusaidia vile Mungu amenisaidia 
ATG ukiwa maeneo ya Nairobi unaweza ukaabudu nami katika kanisa nilaloongoza ATG Kitengela. ATG Kitengela iko opposite KPLC. Ukifika Kitengela Town teremuka ufike kwa ofisi za Kenya Power opposite KPLC utaona nyumba inaitwa Kingston House nyuma ya Kingston House behind Kingston House utaona ATG tumejenga na mabati ya blue mjengo mzuri na utabarikiwa ibada zetu za Jumapili zinaanza asubuhi saa moja mpaka saa ine ni ibada ya kwanza asubuhi saa moja mpaka saa ine unusu ni fast service saa ine unusu mpaka saa saba unusu ni ibada ya pili na ibada ya tatu ni ya ukombozi na unabii inaanza saa saba unusu mpaka saa tisa kuendelea kuonana na mimi ana kwa ana one on one ni wednesday and a friday kuanzia asubuhi mpaka saa tisa alavu every wednesday na friday pia ninafanya deliverance service kuanzia saa tisa mpaka saa moja jioni bwana kubariki sana nipigie niandikie ujumbe na tutawasiliana umekuwa ukiwatch sauti ya urejesho hadi kesho bwana akubariki na kutenda wema amen